mystery of stuff. The world is full of people in need. Many low-income families are suffering every day. Sadly, most people, especially the rich, could care less about these poor souls' problems. Fortunately, many generous people around us are more than ready to give a helping hand to those in need. In this video, we'll tell you some of the amazing and inspiring stories that will restore your faith in humanity and make you believe that there's still good in this world. After striking it rich, a billionaire Chinese businessman decided to pay his debts to his hometown by demolishing the shabby houses and wooden huts and replacing them with new luxury apartments and villas as gifts to his former fellow villagers. Mr. Xiang Shuha's motive was to offer his gratitude to the villagers who were very kind to him in the past and helped him and his family when they were in need. He thoroughly transformed Xiang Keng village in Xianyu, southern China, into a better-looking, organized one. The businessman granted 72 families new apartments in low-rise luxury buildings. That wasn't all. He even built an extra 18 villas and gave them to 18 more families who were exceptionally kind toward his family in the past. The projects included designing now green areas, a park, a playground, statues, and an art center. Xiang Shuha gives all the credit to these villagers that helped him become who he is today. He exceeded in his business and was able to make a lot of money. He said, I always pay my debts and wanted to make sure that the people who helped me when I was younger and my family were paid back. He spent a fortune on this project just to make the villagers feel happy and live comfortably. He promised he would visit the village once in a while to check on the residents and make sure that no one was in need, including low-income families and elders. Elder local Kuyong Chu, 75, said, I remember his parents. They were kind-hearted people who cared very much for others, and it's great that their son has inherited that kindness. The next story is about a boy named Camden who was bullied and ignored by his peers for being so different. The poor boy suffered from apraxia. Being homeschooled, Camden had no friends. To be more specific, no one wanted to be his friend. Everyone was scared of him. His parents felt sorry for their little boy, who was clearly affected by this matter. He had mixed feelings of sadness and anger, so they decided to do something about it. Hoping to make their child even a little happier, they shared his story on Facebook and invited everyone to come to his 10th birthday party and become his friends. The story instantly went viral and a lot of people were sympathetic to Camden's story. Thus, all kids and their parents from neighboring districts, even people who live far, decided to respond to the invitation and share Camden's joy on his special day. The parents were amazed and delighted to have more than 300 strangers arriving at their celebration, each of them wanting to become Camden's friend. The boy received many gifts and toys. The whole place was decorated with many colorful balloons, in addition to a big delicious cake. Besides, people who couldn't personally come to the party sent him tons of gifts and congratulations from all over the world. It's great that at least for one day, Camden got to experience what it's like to be surrounded by friends who genuinely love and care about you. Here's another touching story. His hero is a 25-year-old wheelchair-bound man named Dan Black. He lost his ability to walk after a cycling accident in 2009, yet he never lost hope of walking again. Someday, he raised money for four years to pay for an experimental stem cell treatment, which was supposed to help him walk again. However, events took another turn when he learned about the plight of a five-year-old boy named Brecken, who was suffering from spastic diplegia, a rare disease that caused stiffness in his legs. Realizing that the little boy had a better chance of walking again, Dan decided to donate all the money he raised for the surgery to him instead. The boy's parents were so happy and thankful to Dan for his unusual generosity that helped them reach the amount needed, estimated at 60,000 pounds, for the surgery that would allow their son to walk independently. Dan said, my chances for a great successful surgery aren't that great. I wanted to help someone whose life could be better if I can help someone walk. I'll be happy, and Brecken will walk once he gets the surgery. In an interview, the boy's mother said, what Dan has done is amazing. It is a phenomenal gift. His father, Rob, added, It's heartbreaking that Brecken can't play with his friends, but Dan has taken us well over halfway to our target. Our final story for today took place in the Birmingham suburbs in Alabama and is about this guy. His name is Walter Carr, 
a 20-year-old student. Having his car broken down and no money in his pocket, the man had no choice but to walk 32 kilometers to work. On the eve of Walter's first day of work at Bellhops, a moving company, his car broke down. He had neither money nor enough time to fix it or book a taxi for tomorrow. It was too inconvenient for him to miss the first day of work as he badly needed this job. So instead of calling in and asking for the day off from work, Walter decided to get up right away and go to work on foot. Using Google Maps, he analyzed and prepared a route from his home in Homewood to Pelham, where the client who needed help with her move lived. The distance was estimated at 32 kilometers, meaning that it would take him at least eight hours to reach his destination. Fortunately, Walter used to be a runner, so he was pretty sure that he could make it there in less time and set off at midnight. Walter later revealed that he suffered from severe muscle pain along the way, but he could only stop for a little while. It was then when he was spotted by a police officer who in turn wanted to hear the whole story. Touched by the story, the policeman offered to treat Walter to breakfast and give him a ride to work. At around 6.30 a.m., Walter was already in front of Jennifer Laney's house, the client, who was also moved by the young man's story. He also mentioned how he and his family lost his home in Hurricane Katrina in 2005 and moved to Birmingham. The lady offered him to take a rest at her place. However, he denied and decided to return to work instead. This wasn't the end of the story. However, the next day, the lady called Walter's manager and complimented their employee. She even published a brief but passionate post on Facebook, telling the story of this hardworking young man and starting a GoFundMe campaign to raise $2,000 for Walter to help him out. Many people were amazed and touched by his story. The raised money exceeded $90,000 in just four days. The story quickly reached the media. The story didn't end there. On July 15th, Walter Carr broke down in tears when Luke Marklin, the CEO of Bellhops, handed over the keys to a 2014 Ford Escape. He tweeted, I'm very proud to work on the same team as Walter. He set the bar high for our service, and he just raised it even higher. I hope my story will inspire others to keep going after their goals. I wanted to show that I am dedicated to mine. I decided that I would get to work no matter what. I tell people, if you think 32 kilometers is a lot, try walking in my shoes. They give terrible blisters. Well, as they say, carry out a random act of kindness with no expectation of reward, safe in knowledge that one day someone might do the same for you. Did you enjoy today's story? Let us know what you think about it in the comments. If you believe this story was amazing, don't hesitate to share it with your buddies, hit the subscribe button, and activate the notification bell so you never miss your daily dose of incredible stories.